Good morning, class. How's your weekend? Fun. Oh, that's great. Before we start, who wants to lead the prayer? Ma'am. Okay, Jenny, please lead the prayer. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, class. Before I check your attendance, I know we are familiar with this. But again, let me remind you of our classroom rules. Okay, so let me check your attendance now. Clarida Eugene? Present, ma'am. Present. Diwara Vincent? Present. present. Flores Laila? Present, ma'am. Ocampo Hanabe? Ma'am, present. Oli Micaela? Present. Regalado Dennis? Present. Sadang Jen? Present, ma'am. Okay. So, what is our objective for today? That at the end of our class, you will be able to identify the characteristics of the earth that are necessary to support life. Before we start our lesson for today, let me see if you can still remember the order of the planets according to distance from the sun in our solar, solar system. Do you remember them? Yes, yes ma'am. I also have here the pictures of the eight planets. I want you to arrange these planets according to its distance from the sun. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Very good. Who can still remember the sentence or mnemonic for remembering the order of the planets? Ma'am. Yes, Miss Ollie. My very educated mother just served as noodles. That is correct. Okay, now we are going to watch a video. I want you to concentrate and listen carefully. I am going to ask some questions later. Are you guys ready? Yes, ma'am. Good. Okay, what is the main topic in the video? Planet Earth. Very good. From what you have seen, what are the things you can find inside the Earth? Water. Plants. Animals. Human. Land. Yes, correct. Do you think these are necessary for Earth to be habitable? Yes. Why? Air is important for breathing. Correct. What else? We will live without water. Yes, that's correct. Soil is important in production of food. Okay, very good. What do you think are the things on earth that are necessary to support life? I want you to explain why these are necessary. You will answer my question through group activity. I have here a card which contains instructions for each group. This will be the criteria for rating the activity. For group 1, list at least 5 characteristics of Earth you think is necessary to support life. For group 2, create a simple jingle that tells about the characteristics of Earth that are necessary to support life. And for group 3, draw at least 5 characteristics or things in the Earth that are necessary to support life. This will be the criteria for rating the activity. So, each group will represent your work in front with the assigned reporter. The group with the highest points will receive a token after we evaluate your activity. Yay! Yes, ma'am! Okay. Okay, I am very glad that you did our activity well. Good job, students! Thank you, ma'am! Thank you, ma'am! Light, water, air, and soil are not the only factors or characteristics of the earth that can support life. There's more to it. Let's fill in the concept map. I want you to ask I want you to choose your answer inside the box. So, why do you think atmosphere supports life on earth? Yes, Hannah. Keeps the earth warm. Good. How about distance from the sun? Vincent? 
Earth has the right distance from the sun that makes it receive the perfect amount of heat and light for life to be supported. Nice! How is magnetic field necessary? Yes, Lila. Magnetic field protected us from the harmful solar radiation. And the ozone layer? It also protects us from the effects of shorter wavelength and highly hazardous ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Wow! How about the climate? The Earth has a suitable climate for the existence of all forms of life because of the moderate amount of carbon dioxide. And the water? Dennis? It contains oxygen needed for life. How about the gravitational pull? It keeps our planet orbiting around the sun and holds everything on Earth. Very good! Again, let's read the characteristics of the Earth that are necessary to support life. Okay, what do you think will happen if one of these characteristics are not present on Earth? Longer life will not be possible. We will get sick and die. What should we do to protect these characteristics of Earth? We should take good care of the resources of the Earth. Conserve water. Don't litter. Okay. Prevent pollution. Segregate waste. Yes, Recycle. Correct. Plant trees. Very good. What are the characteristics of the Earth that are necessary to support life? Please write your answer on the board. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Right! Good job, guys! Now we will have our short quiz. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Get one half sheet of paper. Kindly read the instruction, please. Thank you. You may now answer the questions. Okay, pass your papers in front. And for your assignment, in a short whole band paper, I want you to write a slogan about protecting our Mother Earth. Here are the rubrics for it. Okay, class, I hope you learned a lot today. See you again tomorrow. Bye, class. Bye, mom. Bye, mom.